Uh, again, congratulations on your hundred. Um, two things. Uh, maybe explain that to me. The film, uh, obviously, growing up, when you used to play test cricket, I played for England, uh, scored the hundred. Then today, uh, playing for the country of your birth, scoring my hundred. If you can take me through, take us through the feelings of that other hundred and this hundred now uh, on your coming. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't describe how, how proud I am to firstly represent Zimbabwe um, and then to, to score 100. Is, there's just no feeling better than that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so glad to be back here and I've, I've had a, a great month and a half in terms of being involved with the team and the guys have been so welcoming. And then, you know, to contribute and, and score runs today to, to get us into a good position is, is a great feeling. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to be, to be representing Zimbabwe. Yeah, I mean, every, you know, every innings is different. And, and every time you score 100 forever, it's, it's a different feeling. Um, you, know, you know, I think that it's more a feeling of, Kind of achievement when I scored for England, whereas now scoring for Zimbabwe, it's achievement as well as pride. Um, you know, being my my country of birth, so it's it's a great feeling, and uh, yeah, very happy. Okay, good. Uh, yes, more of a shepherding role, uh, especially with uh, Uketsa, uh, Kepo. Sorry. Uh, so. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to Okay, you had more of a shepherding role, especially with uh, losing wickets at uh, the other end. Maybe just take us through what was going through your mind in uh, that phase. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, West Indies all well this morning. Um, they got a few early wickets, so you know, I knew we were just going to have to 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 stick in and, and try and build a partnership. Um, and firstly, you know, Wellington batted nicely, spent some time at the crease, which allowed me to play a bit more freely. Um, and then when he got out, uh, Brandon came in and he played a brilliant knock back, which just stood at the other end and, and watched him play his shots. Um, you know, he was timing the ball beautifully um, and he, he made a very good 50 there and, and our partnership was were, um, quite important getting us to the, to the total and giving us a, an opportunity to bowl this morning, so, yeah. And, uh, were, you, were you aware of the record uh, that you made uh, coming to this test? becoming only the second uh, person uh, to play for Zimbabwe after having played for another country. Uh, John Tricos was the first. And also the other record was you becoming uh, the number 16 player in the history of cricket to play for a different country. Yeah, uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know that. Um, yeah, I, didn't have, I knew it, it, it was, um, you know, it couldn't have happened a lot of, of playing for, for two Two countries in Test cricket, but um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's just nice to to be back here and, and to represent the Zimbabwe. Like it's it's yeah, very special. For many people, might have thought, what does Gary Vallens bring to the team for Zimbabwe? How much do you think this is of a statement of what? How much you can contribute to the progress of this country, especially the upward tra trajectory he's experiencing at the moment? Yeah, you know, obviously there's a, there's a big following of um, cricket in the country at the moment, that's great. And it's, it's nice to be able to, to play some test matches. You know, obviously it's the, it's the I think, the pinnacle of, of cricket really is, is to play test cricket. And it's great that we've got two, um, two in a row here. So, you know, just being able to contribute and, and make some runs um, and, and put up a good fight um, you know, for our side and, and, and you know, hopefully people have been, been watching our performance over the last three, four days and, and seeing that we, we're really putting up the fights and um, you know, we, can, we can compete with the, um, with the best teams in the world. Uh, congratulations, Gary, on your debut 100. Uh, two questions I have for you. Um, one is the bad news with the collapse of wickets we saw yesterday for Zimbabwe, especially losing Craig Evan probably on the last ball of the day. And then coming in today after the other wickets that collapsed, do you feel under pressure looking at the total that the West Indian posted? Um, yeah, they obviously scored a big total, but I think our, our, our first goal was to, to get past the follower. Um, and you know, that was our target. Um, it was always going to be difficult for, for new batters to come in. You know, the West Indies have got the ball reverse swinging, so it was quite difficult to start. Um, you know, Joseph, Joseph was bowling good pace. 
Um, so we knew it was going to be difficult to come in, but once you got through that first 20, 25 balls, got used to the pace, got used to the reverse swing, then you could put cash in. And um, you know, fortunately, myself and, and Brandon were able to do that. All right, my last question is going to you personally. Uh, swapping the weight of the three lines to the Zimbabwe one, um, how has it been the reception in the team of you coming in? Uh, I know it's a different place like from a club, but it's also different playing for a different country. I know Zimbabwe being a country of your birth. How has it been in the changing room? It's been it's been amazing. Um, I every single uh, player, coach, whoever has been very welcoming to me. Um, obviously, I, I knew a few of the guys from playing back here. I'm a player for the Rhinos um, a while back, um, so I knew a few of the guys, which is which always helps. But but everyone's been welcoming. They've welcomed me into the into the squad, and um, you know it, it makes a massive difference when you come to a new new team and everyone's welcoming and, and you made to feel part of the part of the group. Um, makes it easier to go out there and perform. And then uh, looking at when you are at a batting performance with. Uh which is essentially a lot of the lower end and lower middle end. I saw you spent quite a bit of time talking to them. Uh, what would you be saying to them? And, you know, to get them... I know these are a bunch of guys who've got a lot of first-class experience, but what would you, what were you saying to them, especially at the lower end? And then secondly, I know this is Valaya, there's a lower crowd today, but what has been the experience for you uh, playing in a crowd that's so vociferous, uh, especially in a very local kind of way, Zimbabwean kind of way, that you didn't have the last time you played in Zimbabwe. Yeah, I mean, uh, firstly, with the with the guys batting there, I just I just told them to back themselves, um, know that they good enough to perform here and, and take one ball at a time. Um, and that's what they did, one ball at a time. You know, saw Brandon got hit a few times, but he, he came back next ball, um, faced up to it, hit a few boundaries. So I just kept on telling them, back yourself, you know, play your game, and, and you'll be fine. Um, on to the second question, yeah, it's the support the lot we can get at the moment is, is amazing. You know, I've followed the, um, the World Cup and then coming here and, and playing those games in Harare, there was great support there and, and even down here, you know, there's um, a lot of singing, a lot of chanting and it's, you know, it gives you, when it's a tough day or a tough time, it gives you that, that extra bit of energy to, to keep going. Okay, uh, deflating with uh, deficits is uh, something that uh, is unusual, especially to Zimbabwe. But what does this say in terms of uh, the direction uh, that uh, the team is taking? Yeah, I mean, it's it's um, you know it's, it's a positive move, it's a positive declaration. Um, it's trying to put us on the front foot and, and try and, and try and go for a win. Obviously, it's, it's going to be very hard to do that. Um, but you know, by declaring. Um, about 70 runs behind, you know, we're trying to give ourselves a chance to, to take a few wickets this evening. Um, unfortunately, we didn't do that for all well, but, but didn't make um, didn't make any breakthroughs. But, you know, it's, it's a positive step. I think that's the, the way that um, the coaches want us to play is, is to be positive, to always take the positive option. And, um, you know, that certainly is a, a positive declaration. So it's, it's a good, it's a sign um, for the future. Last one, Craig. Right? Uh, just a uh, final question. The first one is um, now you've gotten uh, the hundred out of the way, and obviously coming here, there's a lot of expectation um, that you are the only professional. You're coming here with a lot of experience, and you've played at the highest level. Uh, do you think that even this hundred out of the way will lessen uh, the pressure on you? And then the final question is um, uh, obviously there's someone in, in the dressing room. Uh, Omi of Pete uh, by being the highest scorer uh, for Zimbabwe on debut. Uh, probably, I guess, guys going to speak of a, I mean, of a peers, uh, to say that you now have got the record by a of, of course, he still has the highest score uh, by Zimbabwe in Test cricket. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, what was the first question? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, yes. Um, no, sure. I mean, it's it's great to get to get runs, but but always, um, you know, always put pressure on myself and uh, to to go out there and try and score runs every innings. Um, it's great that it happened the first time, but you know, I'll keep trying to do that and keep trying to score runs. And the second one, um, yeah, I'll definitely be having a beer tonight with uh, David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much.